hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you that are seeing this face for the first time welcome home darling because you are definitely here to stay and to my regular regulars guys my subscribers uh, my returning subscribers uh, thank you so much guys for coming back and um, for those of you that don't know me my name is nande khamwana but i go by the name of big lens honey um guys like this is my first ever like interaction i know it's not like an interaction interaction but this is my first ever sit down video with you guys because i think oh first of all we're drinking um i'm drinking my favorite cider here fruits all fruits i know that it's not paid partnership it's nothing but i felt like since i'm wearing pink and it's my favorite cider i might as well just enjoy it with you guys maybe one day is one day well, i never know One thing about manifest is I will go deep. I'll find it out. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, guys, when I started my channel, let me be open and honest with you guys. I was really not ready. I was not ready when I opened my channel. But I felt like you guys, like people on my Instagram, they gave me a lot of pressure. That Nandi, why are you not on YouTube? Like, why are you not get, getting paid for what you do? Because first of all, you have so much content, Nandi. You always travel in art, you always doing fun activities, you always outside with your friends enjoying yourself. So why not document it and then get paid for that instead of you maybe posting just for content on other apps? And then I was like, no guys, you guys know the the the, 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 the trouble of YouTube, like go editor that oh my Anna guys. I understand that I la YouTube the editing I need to be constant weekly vlogs, maintenance week, all of that. And I was like, yo, I guys, like, I'm just not ready for it. Until my other friend fucking put a gun on my head and she was like, Nani, you're doing this thing, you're opening a YouTube. Okay, Tommy, you don't want to do it, but just open and let's see from your subscribers. If your subscribers are real, just give them something. I really started my channel. You guys started subscribing. Like, it was just amazing. I think I started posting my first vlog at 500 subscribers yes that's when i started um and then i just i went to cape town with my friend for i think it was like a week then i started just vlogging day vlogging day i didn't even know how to edit like that it was just a lot of stress but i'm not here about that today i am here to let you guys know me on a much more personal level okay guys first of all let me introduce my new baby that's my baby, that's my baby, that's my baby, girl. Guys, I love this diary so much. It is so dear to my heart. <laughs> I'll name her dear diary. And obviously, it's pink. Pink is my favorite color. Anyways, guys, I am here to let you guys know me on a personal level. Firstly, I did a get to know me on my Instagram. I posted a tag so that you guys can ask me any personal questions that you guys want to know about me whether it's my age my relationship status what i do for a living like i just gave you guys like the open field but then i felt like okay you guys gave me questions zang and zang and questions zang and zang and but then i felt like i'm man you guys are so uptight and stiff that come on you know what there's that anonymous dundun that anonymous dundun and nigi link that want the questions again and i want the questions the papa <laughs> No problem. So now I'll be reading out the questions for you guys. And then I'll be reading out the questions. Oh, it's in the password for me time. Guys, my friend borrowed me her phone because I'm definitely using my phone for filming. It's in it's a two Yo. I yo two. So, guys, I don't have a vlogging camera yet, so my friend borrowed me her phone because she was not using it. Um, two, six, three, four, five, five. Yes. 
Okay guys, so I was saying, I asked you guys to send me questions, like get to know me questions on my Instagram. And then I also gave you guys the opportunity to also do that on the anonymous site. So I'll just be reading the questions that you guys asked me. But before I do that, I think I should just introduce myself for my link. I'm currently 23 years of age, turning 24 this year in March. Guys, I was born and bred in the Eastern Cape from a small town at Dujwa. They won't cross up, but guys, these days it's cross up. Some see and the balega like they are slack. They are see and balega. They are balega. Like I don't understand. Anyways, guys, they won't cross up. They want to do you in the Eastern Cape. Um, I was born and bred by and guys in the Kulele Payana. Like I'm a total village girl. And they want to do that. And there's nothing you can do that. And you go to Kile. The Valerian Gormon, the Yapega Pange, the Yakamaza Manicatini, the Angusha Land Peace Inja, like that's how deep rural go. And you, anyways, out of five children, I am the middle child, so what do you do, baby? Anyways, guys, Nicole Etuja, that's where I did like my primary and high school, like I went to the same school until I went to varsity and then the varsity I went to Walter Sisulu University. That's when I moved to East London to go and study there. And then from there, I did a diploma in local government finance. And then I also advanced and then I advanced diploma in public management. And then I recently moved to the city of Joburg because greener pastures, honey, the city of gold, the city of toilers. Guys, let me ask the questions you guys wanted to know about me. I think that's all man, you guys need to know about me. Anyways, I'm a bubbly person. Like, personality-wise, I'm a very bubbly person. I love having fun. So energetic. I like to anything that has to do with fun. It has my name in it. What else now, guys, that you guys need to know about me before I get deep into your questions? Okay, guys, I'm from your questions that you guys gave me. I'm going to start with the... I need to... I gave you guys two options, the anonymous and my DMs. So I'm going to start with the ones in my DM because anonymous, you guys had to go behind the anonymous in order for you guys to ask me those personal questions, but you guys go yourselves, my friends. Sorry about that. Anyway, um... My first question is, what do you think makes your content stand out? Definitely, guys, on YouTube, I feel like we are all doing like the same thing, like our routines, um, the week, our weekly vlogs. If especially if you're in Joburg or like the big cities, I feel like we're doing the same thing. But being yourself is what differentiates you from other YouTubers. I think the answer to that question is what makes my what makes my own content stand out. The fact that I'm me, the fact that I'm sitting here now and talking to you guys, that makes me stand out. So I feel like being you makes you stand out because on YouTube we're literally doing the same thing. Um the other one says what did you study in university? I have two qualifications as I've said before. The first one I have a diploma in local government finance and then I have an advanced diploma in public management. Um, how old are you? I'm 23, turning 24 this year. Um, what is your favorite sex positions? Oh, Akse Eli Asand. Guys, how did we jump from what did you study in varsity to his sex positions? Oh, I called the night back. Just because you guys said you want to know, okay? And now I said I'm going to be open and honest with you guys. It has to be doggy. Okay, let's move on. Um, what drives you? What is your motivation? My motivation, guys, is that I want to be better than what I am. As soon as we reach at this level, I want to be beyond that level. So I think that's my motivation because I know that the level that I'm at is not my full potential level. I need to level up. Um do you work a nine to five or you own your business guys i used to work a nine to five but then um things didn't work out um i really loved the job it was a very nice job for um, also university guys you know the struggle of ukang long savings when you're fresh out of university so um, when i was graduating i was mean i had already gotten an offer so i was very happy with the offer but then things didn't work out and I just decided to quit. It was just beyond my control. I know I'm not a quitter, but last situation forced me to quit. Um, 
what course are you doing i think i already answered that do you have a large group of friends if yes why i don't think i have a large group of friends but i know a lot of people there's a difference that people can differentiate between knowing people and being friends with people i don't think my circle is a big circle but i know a lot of people in Joburg is a very big city so everyone knows everyone um when you on off why when you on off why did you stop you're such a hearty and a vibe bitch i don't understand you know you're someone when you on off what is your biggest fear i think my biggest fear right now would be losing my parents I think that that's my biggest fear that question i don't i don't even need to think twice my biggest fear would be losing my parents because i grew up with both my parents it was a lovely marriage to watch and then now i feel like now that i'm grown and independent i feel i need to give back to my parents and do as they did to me so if they would if i would lose them before achieving all of that it would be really pain so i feel like that's my biggest fear i'm not ready for that yet um okay next question are you still working your nine to five job no my darling i am not which high school did you go to a high school i'm defunded a meter english medium christian school and that's an id job it's a dude you're sorry guys mm. are you dating What was the question again? <laughs> Guys, <clears throat> I'm saying this with so much confidence. I am currently single because this finger is very much empty and I am done. I'm, I'm closing that question. <clears throat> okay, have you ever dated a married man? Guys, if you can journey from high school to dating married men, have you ever dated a married man who hasn't? <laughs> oh, tell us about your worst and best experience of the first two years in Gauteng. How was it? <laughs> Guys, it's very, very funny how I moved to Joe. You guys would love if I would tell you. I don't got it and say. Guys, guys, it was out for the antique. Like, I keep excusing myself because it has a lot of accent. I hope you guys will bear with me on that one and then we'll all be fine and cool. What was your worst and best experience? In your first three years in a hot day guys it's very funny how i literally moved to job work i was doing my final year in varsity and then my friend like my best friend recently moved to job work in january because she was done with school and then she moved to side so when my friend moved to side um when my friend moved to side we opened schools in february we did registration we we're done with that no problem. As come, as I attend the classes, I send the into your one. So my each of them is like, okay, fine. Since my friend got to job work, she's been oh, I am doing class at the time. Sorry guys. So since my friend got to job work, she's been having fun. She's been partying left up, left right and center, up and down. Who's this PT PT? And then my friend is like, show me, cause I show big man. My friend no matter one week, yeah, So I'm like, okay, show me the house. Lindy, hello, it's a mingen. So my mom usually sends me my allowance on the twentieth. No problem. That was allowance. Um, that come with a book. So I fly ticket and go to the me. I'm in the minutes. I will have to go in. But she fly. My parents don't know that I'm not in East London at the time because I was at school. But she fly. Oh, damn! And I told me I'm literally not not landed to work. When any allowances, it was the NS class. Yo, I'm sure I I got around about. Is it was it around about 10k? I think it was just like 10k because when you book allowance in the first month, allowance in London literally came to Joburg and I never went back. 
Indeed, I never went back. Lucky for me. Oh, lucky for me. That twenty in 2020, I think 2020 was the year, year COVID. So that year, a university got to introduce the online learning. Yes, they introduced online learning. So I was able to be in Joburg and studying. And at the time, they just gave us the assignments, the online test. It was just that sort of stuff. So I could manage doing my online learning and being in Joburg. So literally, guys, that's how I moved to Joburg. I hope you guys just, the story makes sense because it was very funny. I never planned to move to Joburg. I came to Joburg for a week to visit my friends. The next thing, I never returned. And then the question is, tell us about your worst and best experience in the three years you've lived in Gauteng. How was it? Since I arrived in Gauteng, guys, I might not say I had like bad experience. Maybe just hiccups between friends or things like that. But I have never had like the worst experience, like my best experience since I've moved to Gauteng. I think my best experience has to be my, was it my 20, 22nd? I think it was my 22nd birthday. Wow. Mm. I think that's that's my best highlight. The birthday even trended on Twitter. That's all I can say. Like it was my best highlight. This is the 28th borough is born tonight. Hey, Omo, I need you to do this tomorrow night too. I'm interested in this game. I love it. I need you to do this tomorrow night. Don't have this bad day. I need you to do more of this. Exactly, someone was finding my lifestyle. I was just being taken care of. Sometimes, being a nice girl, looking nice and dressing nice, you attract nice things because you look nice. Thank you. At what age did you get your first designer? I think it was my birthday, I was 22. If you had to go somewhere else, career wise, what would it be? Somewhere else, career wise, I think I'd do something with traveling agent um real estate um what else anything that is fun not too much into nine to five i know my qualification requires me to be nine to five but hello we'll see about that what kind of work do you do currently i am unemployed i am a south african youtuber so that's what i currently do um okay do you have one listen, do you have one man or there's some sticky links it's just sticky situations are you still working a nine to five no my darling i'm not um you seem very confident love it do you have any insecurities um insecurities insecurities i really i really don't there's not much insecurities that i have but i think um body wise Personality wise, I don't think okay, maybe body wise. I think I have insecurity. Okay, I don't like my scratch marks, so maybe my scratch marks are my insecurities. I don't like like maybe showing off my body too much in front of the scratch marks. I think other than that, I don't have like any insecurities. It's not that I'm overconfident, I just I just try my best. Yeah. Um, how do you make money if it's heist related? Then you please take me along on the next one. Guys, then you don't be heist enough. I mean, he paid it for him. Is that the EP and the Balega? He fire money and run money heist. 
firefighters are anarchist man how do you maintain your lifestyle seeing that it's very lavish only your job <laughs> guys what does lavish mean in my camera i i i'm not no booze if you ask me a question i'm gonna have a question for you also like um I have been a fan of you and would like to know where you are located. I am currently located in Johannesburg, I stay in Bramley. And that's it. Which Lalis are you from? I'm from Emun, Kota, Etitwa, like Zilani Zambezu. Um, worst way to find out your partner was cheating on you. I think my worst heartbreak and I found out he was cheating on me, not with one person, but with me, more than four. He never ended his call. So I hedged throughout what was happening. Yeah. Um, I've always been a fan and would like to know. Okay, can I answer that one? Mm, okay. Babe, where do you get money to maintain your lifestyle? But guys, wait, what is maintaining lifestyle? Like, which lifestyle am I maintaining? Like, going out to dates? Because most of the time, I'm always at home unless I go out to the club. Because to the club, my friends are always hosting there. And once people invite you to the club, they are hosting. That means you're drinking from their alcohol. So I don't understand which lifestyle you guys are. I need to maybe I need to understand what is lifestyle. Like I don't understand. Um, what are you currently? Where are you currently staying? And how much are you paying? And who is paying for you? <laughs> I thought you guys wanted to know me like on a personal level like me like about me why now is it about my money is it about my rent is it about that but then it's fine because i said it's a get to know me or i'm the one who doesn't understand what get to know me is about where are you currently staying and how much are you paying and who is paying for you obviously i am the tenant of the apartment and i'm the one paying the rent and i stay in family whether who gives me money to pay rent, I work as in enough because I'm the tenant to this place. So I'm the one who's paying the rent. Ever who is funding, he funds. I work as I. Are you still working? No, I'm not. Mm. I'm so in love with your personality. Would you recommend me as your boyfriend someday? Sorry because you wrote that on the anonymous side. So how can I recommend you as my boyfriend someday? Um, say friend got sugar. Yes, I am fan sugar. She was my best friend for the longest time when I was in East London during my first and second year of varsity. So hi, sugar. Um, I love your I love your office content. You don't post it anymore. Are you still working, guys? I'm not working. Okay, fine. I think I didn't address the issue that I quit my job, whereas I felt like I announced me getting a new job so i think i still owe you guys maybe i'll give you guys a story time of how i truly lost my job which i didn't want to quit but circumstances forced me to so i think i was just not ready to speak about it or anything like that but i think i'll give you guys a detailed story time of what happened yeah so any other work related um questions i'm not going to answer them because i don't work anymore i'm unemployed um not in a malicious way how do you afford your lifestyle you have been living luxurious even before you've worked. <laughs> Guys, I said, I don't remember what the first question about money was, was saying, but I said, if you are a girl, you take good care of yourself. You look good. You attract good things. Attracting good things, it means you're attracting money. Because long is a just for you. You have to What's your typical girlfriend allowance if you get one? And I go like a girlfriend allowance, like, like, oh. What's your typical girlfriend allowance if you get one? Typical, like the smallest that would take. <laughs> Okay, fine. I would say maybe like 30k. Like 30k would be fine. I'll pay my rent. I'll buy groceries. I'll have money for toilet please. I'll have money maybe for two new outfits for the month. 
go out for breakfast, go out for lunch maybe with friends. So maybe that thing key, but it wouldn't last a month, but it would just cover the basics for a month. Um, how many sources of income or money? How many sources of income money gifting do you have? <laughs> guys, why is every question about money? Guys, do I look like I have money because I don't fucking have money in my account now? I'm sure it's on minus. But every question I get here, I feel like it's not directed personally to me, but it's always about money or... Okay, fine. Mm. When you moved to Gauteng, Gauteng, because you were student <laughs> Guys, please forgive me, but guess I'm not literally I would laugh at everything. Like I said, I can't reflect. So please just forgive me. Um, when you move to Houghton, well, Houghton, because you're a student, guys, I think I explained my story of moving to Houghton. It was never planned. I went there visiting my friend, and I never looked back. Cause anyway, I was looking to relocate to Joburg as soon as I'm done with my studies. But then the relocation happened faster even before I expected it. The opportunity was there. I just needed to make my move, and then. That was it. Please don't leave me unopened. I don't know which one. Okay, maybe it's the one of the questions I've read. Where's your boyfriend you Where's your boyfriend you used to use with? Where's your boyfriend you, you Ah guys look at this question. I hope you guys can see. Like it's not making sense. Maybe where's your boyfriend you used to be with? So you can see that I'm no longer with that person. So I think it makes sense that I'm no longer with them when you're saying you used to see. <laughs> so uh, guys, the question is in, uh, and I don't think I can do this question and answer. Just get to know me. What keeps you grounded? I mean, you still reply to comments and messages from people. You don't have the high social media standing and you that's something I love about you, sis. Mm -hmm. I think let's open one more before we answer this question. That's a very nice, it's not even a question. I think it's a compliment. Cheers. <laughs> I think it's a compliment, guys. I don't think, it is, what keeps you grounded? I mean, you still reply to comments. I try, but sometimes I, I don't reply to everyone, but I just try. I think I just, you feel like you're with man, one, 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 even if you look dialer, like maybe like three, three days after, I feel better than not replying at all. Even if I was on club, you message me mistake, and then now you're forced to reply. So I think I just, I, I like interacting with people with, how much is your rent? See, Mina, I love you. Just let me plug you with where you got your shot, bro. Besides that, I get I'm happy with you. I love your content. Keep plugging me with those Nigerian songs. I still them all. <laughs> oh wow, my short bulb. I think I bought it. Okay, I'll just take her. Or maybe I'll write her number down or her name. She's just a friend of mine, Exe. So I bought that short bulb from her. Exit shout out to you, baby. Um, who are your best girlfriends? I'm gonna give a shout out to Roxy, Amo, Onati, Namso, Lily, too. Um, who else? See, the um, I think those are my girls, like that's just my circle. I have other friends, but I feel like, like those are just my best girlfriends. Um, have you ever had any surgery? Guys, you know, I've never even slept at hospital. I've never been admitted to any hospital, so let alone surgery. I think the last time I left hospital was the last time my mom gave birth to me. <laughs> you busy this weekend? Oh, I can imagine this with me and John. You the things I would do to you if you were my girl and I would really spoil you too. <clears throat> I really love your lifestyle. I'm, I'm a follower. I'm always looking forward to your content. I'm even asking for a week love. Much love all the way from Zambia. Hi, Zambia, Zambia. Personally, Mnandi Tanda, no filter. You are yourself so lovable. I enjoy watching your stories. 
Noba will be with whom and this is my thank you. But I thought this was a kid to know me. But it's fine. Thank you for the compliment. Mm. Um, your favorite hobby. I think my current favorite hobby is eating. I just love trying different restaurant foods and just eating. I'm not a guys, I'll eat everywhere and anywhere. Does I'll get Alex in, does I just away to I'll eat in Santin, I'll I'll just eat everywhere. So if it's food, just come in anywhere. Um, what's your boyfriend's name? I don't have one. <sighs> oh big names. I'll call the Inga and the Omidia's fellowship. Yeah, as I know, you guys are literally the sweetest. Um, your parents must be very proud of you. A beautiful, young, a beautiful young lady like you who put things together is an inspiration to us trying in life. Mm, thank you. I feel like you guys are more sweet and appreciating me instead of like getting to know me like that i'm only doing this one skit guys i'm not gonna do it again if you guys didn't get to know me through this get to know me then that's it thank you so much yes guys my parents are very proud of me but obviously they want to see me work they want to see me achieve like my goals so it's fine i'm obviously looking forward but currently i'm more i'm focusing more on my youtube channel which is you guys so you all better subscribe <laughs> Uh, before my mother and father find out that I'm not applying for jobs and I'm focusing on YouTube. Um, which apps do you use to job hunt? I used to use LinkedIn. Okay, LinkedIn was my number one. And then I used to use what else? Okay, my mom would send me a lot of links with applications, websites. Like it's a lot, but LinkedIn and what's the other one? Guys, I think the last time I applied was last year. This year, let me be honest, I'm not trying. Like, the, guys, <laughs> my last job joined me. I think that's why Ukuban Nando going to, okay, story for another day. <clears throat> the Atanda, a focused screen, thank you, baby. Sometimes I feel like I'm not focused, like I get distracted very easily. Guys, they are distracted and I'm doing, I get distracted by a fly. Like, that's my worst that the worst thing going in a worst behavior like it's, yeah I'm, i just get distracted easily if i was on my phone i was trying to shop online at she in zamofa i would not even last two minutes same from down instagram from instagram same chg and like whatsapp like i just get distracted easily and i hate that but yes i try to focus at what age do you see yourself having children because okay mm -hmm. But I think maybe around close to 30, 28, or maybe even now if I can find someone responsible. Mm -hmm. Why do you like Nigerians? <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Wow. Why do I like Nigerians? I think I like Nigerians because they produce really nice music. Like Afrobeat music is the best music. So I think that's why I like Nigerians. Um, I'm proud of how far you've come. Keep doing good with yourself to be the achievements, my friend. Cheers to that. 2023 bigger achievements. Um, I love you. I love you. You are such a lovely soul. Wish I was a close friend with you but stay amazing and blessed i really wish you had a close friend too so that i can share this love did you bleach your skin guys like not really really like bleach my skin to try to change my color but once you have like a skincare routine your face just gets brighter and lighter because you do you use emotional products for your face that have certain chemicals than your body so if your skincare routine changes it means your skin color will change. You are my role model. Stay beautiful as you are. Thank you, baby. Your family must be proud of you, baby. You know how you put together. Okay. Yeah, I think I read that one. Uh, what's
started the bread or where you brought ready made am i repeating the same questions what the fuck is going on oh my god let me just double check do you have any bad habits guys i have one bad habit that i can't stop doing but it's a story for another day what is your favorite thing to do when you have free time I think just to smoke, watch TV, get munchies, just eat. I think that's my favorite thing to do. Which is your favorite piece of clothing? Currently, this new outfit. Let me just say that. Are you a dog or a cat person? I think I'm a dog person. Are you a good cook? Not really like good, 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 good cook, but people do eat. They finish my food. They give me a review, so. I'm definitely a good cook. What do you think? Um, what do you like about your life right now? I think I like the fact that I have my own space, number one. I like the fact that I've achieved a lot of things within like a short period of time. I feel, I just, I just love the sense of freedom that I have right now. I think, yeah, that's about it. Um... Are you a baton singer? Not really, but I like to play music. So if I'm alone, I'll be playing music while I'm in the shower. So I'll be singing. Now. I am a baton singer. Let me just cut it short. Do you get angry quickly? So I think maybe when I'm high, maybe like when I smoke weed, then. But normally, I won't like really get angry. I'll think it's okay once I'm there. Um, do you have any allergies? <laughs> Guys, I literally, I'm literally not allergic to anything. I eat anything and everything unless maybe Zaytreki is like, ah, maybe I've never had it before and then it doesn't look good. So I will just say, mm. but if it's something that looks nice, delicious and scrumptious, I eat everything and anything. I don't have allergies, never in my life. Do you have a tattoo? I have three tattoos currently. I have one tattoo here which I regret doing and then I have what's the other one? What's the other one? Okay. I also have one other tattoo there and then I also have one tattoo on my back. It's just a lot, but I just don't like those tattoos. Um what else? Who is your best friend? My best friend is Nagam Sumtanga. Shout out to you, my sosoli soso. Love you, baby. What is your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> My most embarrassing moment, I think, is one day I got so drunk at Black Door. I couldn't remember anything. Like, I literally left. I lost my phone that day. I think I left it in the bathroom. It was just a mess. Like, I was too over intoxicated. I was just vomiting everywhere. It was a mess. I know it's embarrassing, but that was my most embarrassing moment. Anyways, guys, I feel like most of your guys' questions... Okay, I really enjoyed this question and answer, firstly. Like, I really enjoyed it. But I felt like most of your guys' questions were not, like, really questions. It was all about compliments. And most of your guys' questions were based on monetary things. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, the sun is shining back. It's a brand new day. <laughs> Guys, the day today is like 30th of January. It's on Monday. I'm still inside my bed. Time is around about 9 a.m. I just finished editing my Get to Know Me video. Um, I'm happy. I'm not happy about the video. Number one, I'm not happy about the video because my phone was giving me problems in terms of space. My videos kept cutting and then it was just a mess. Number two, I felt like you guys didn't really like ask me personal questions to get to know me like on a personal level but it was more of my monetary side where i get my money um how do i find my lifestyle like it was all based about money like who pays my rent who does this including money who does that maybe i'm the one who didn't get the concept of get to know me but i thought maybe you guys would be asking like more personal questions about my personality who i am what are my values blah 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 like those sort of things but then for now also my video didn't like end well because my phone was already like 
giving me problem with space like i couldn't even finish filming but i hope you guys will be happy to get to know me gay with this piece of information that i have for you guys i promise you like recently once things get settled down i'm definitely going to do like a proper proper get to know me even from my side like i'm going to bring questions for myself because i didn't like bring any questions for myself because i thought i was going to read what you guys wanted to know about me anyways that is how i close this get to know me vlog off i hope you guys will not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you so much from me bye